If you're planning on buying any cards from TCG Player, make sure you use our affiliate link right here in the description of our video to help support the channel. It's the best way to do it and it's free. Make sure you check out Poton Store. They have the new certain shield codes already available and they have automatic email delivery for these codes. You can get them in batches of 50 codes with a slight discount or individually for 89 cents each. They also have all these other promo codes. They have um, every other set you could imagine. And if you use Tailbone code, you get 5% off your final purchase. For the European players, Millibuds Gaming has everything from collectibles to all the latest cards from the latest sets, Cosmic Eclipse, Hidden Fates, and everything from Sun and Moon. Don't forget to check it out and use Tailbone code when checking out in order to get 5% off your final purchase. Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new day of Road to TC World 2020. Thank you so much for joining me. We are going to continue with our Sword and Shield coverage. Alex, thanks so much for being here. How are you doing? So, um, there were a couple of tournaments that happened this past weekend. Um, we had the Limitless versus Brave Birds Showdown, which was really fun and I was very happy with how it turned out and how cool it ended up um, going about. Um, I won my match, which also made me pretty happy, but <coughs> there was also a win a case tournament hosted by Full Grip Games, which had a, quite a very good viewership and a lot of people were interested in watching that and obviously when you're trying to win a case, you're gonna take it seriously, right? And um, this Mincino Mill or Sinchino Mill deck that you have that you're seeing in front of you is getting a lot of hype. There's a lot of people talking about it, and so I wanted to go over it. We have Sinchino with a Make Do ability where you must discard card from hand in order to use this ability. <coughs> and once you do, you may draw two cards. You can use this for every Sinchino. Of course, this is reminiscent of Zoric GX. So, um, obviously the attack is not as powerful, the HP is not there, but it's not a GX, it's not a true price liability. And um, we have Station as well for the Intrepid Sword ability, trying to draw three cards <coughs> off the top every turn, especially early on, this is really, really huge. And then we have Mew 3 to be able to use Macarlo GX's Burning Magma GX to discard the top five cards of your opponent's deck. Now you do this and you combine that with Lieutenant Surge and Double Bill Elba and Bryson Man over and over along with Palbat in order to um, in order to mill your opponent. I don't like this art of Palbat, so I'm just gonna change it really quickly. Um, I feel like the best way to show this deck is just gonna be to play with it. Um, it has dolls to stall, it has crushing hammers to stall, make your opponent lose attacks. Um, it has Oranguru as well to recycle the dolls. So you can continue to buy turns and basically there's no deck that really has um, infinite costs. There's no deck that has um, too much bench damage and you do have Mew to stop them. So, um, I mean, the, it's gotten to a point where people are talking about this deck and saying how toxic it is and how the combination of Lily Spoke at all plus below but Rising Man should not exist. One of those cards should not exist. And yeah, we'll see what we run into um, the ladder and Howling Sea Fox. Hello, thanks so much for being here. We'll see what we run into and see how the matches go. Um, we we'll lose a coin flip, and um, I put choosing to go first. I insist that that seems like a mistake overall um, because you're limiting yourself purposely, but. I mean, obviously my hand isn't that great either, so um, we'll see. We'll see what we're up against. We'll try and figure this out. We will try and figure this out. I'm not a big believer in this deck. Obviously it's done pretty well. Obviously it will be a thing, just like PG was a thing. This is now the mill deck of choice, but I'm not happy about it, that's for sure. Definitely not happy. It's also a risky a risky choice and it's also a risky choice overall so uh, we'll see let's see how it goes let's see a church ball let's see a church 
charge fall. And they pass, so very slow turn for my opponent. It's probably um, Blams, right? And I think this Cynthia Caitlyn is actually pretty nice. Before I commit the Quick Wall, I'm gonna use it to discard the Macargo. Draw 3, because if I find a Station, then I can Quick Wall for a, Sin a Minchino. If I find a Minchino, then I can Quick Wall. I know to Quick Wall for a Station. Um, I don't care about placing damage counters, of course. Uh, what do I quick ball here though? I feel like I can quick ball the Bilal, but I really want this station down. And I can see right off the bat that I prized one Sinchino. Um, I prized one doll. I prized. I don't even know what else I prized. <laughs> uh, one station, which is great, right? You don't care about. You only need one station. So all I want right now is to get resources into my deck. Um, I feel like I'd rather lose the Oranguru instead of the Mew if it comes to that, but my opponent's turn was obviously not very good. So we should be all right here, we should be all right. So this deck does take a while to get going, but eventually, um, Eventually you get there. Marky Love's got going first isn't that bad. I'm not saying it's bad, right? I'm saying you shouldn't choose to go first. With most decks, or in my experience so far, with every deck. Um, and I, I think the biggest, the best example I can give is when you're playing, like if you if you choose to go first, you don't know why you're up against, you choose to go first, and you're up against Mew 3 Malamar. Your first turn is a turn where you don't get to, to play supporters, and your second turn is a turn where you don't even get to play a single card, right? Because they horror house. So what's better? On turn one playing a supporter and on turn two not playing anything, or not playing a supporter and on turn two not playing anything. I think it's very clear. Um, so are you really going to take that risk? You might just get dunked if that's the case, you know? Um, well, it seems like my opponent just quit here. Feels like my opponent simply quits, we will see. Um, or maybe they really don't have anything. Let's try and get rid of the energy, perfect. Um, do I want to put resources back? I don't think so. I think I just want to interrupt it sword. Um, in case I get Marnie, I guess I can do uh, just the one. I might want it on the active. All right, so I get my Mewtwo, I get my Crushing Hammers. Maybe my opponent realizes that I'm a mill deck and he's gonna choose not to do anything, but that would be really weird. Um, Rafa, what's my favorite deck so far? I think Seijin ADP is definitely one of my favorite decks, but I have a soft spot for Mew3 Malamar so far. I think the deck is also really, really good. Um, and yeah, like, as, as you say, Rafa, I generally think not playing a support turn turn one is Choosing not to play a support on turn one is just detrimental to your own chances of winning. Um, this deck can win games in a best of three with how fast this deck mills. Yeah, I mean, PG can too, right? PG has been dominating cops as well, so that's also a, um, something to keep in mind. All right. So, see, my opponent this time chose to go second, which I wholeheartedly agree with. Wholeheartedly agree with. Um, pretty decent start. Oh no, never mind. He chose to go first again. I was so confused. Yeah, he chose to go first. See? Like, what advantage does that give you? Like, my opponent drew attached path. What's the advantage of going first? There is no advantage of going first. But, I mean, I'll be happy to let people choose to go first against me. Okay, so Mew 3 is prized, so I might need to evolve Ditto into my cargo to pull off the last... <clears throat> the last mill here. Okay, before I commit the quick pull, like I said, I'm gonna play the supporter because if I draw Minchino, I know it's easy to get Station, but if I find a Station, then um, I can commit to the Minchino or whatever. You know, it, like, it gives me options. Um... <coughs> Likewise with the Great Ball. <coughs> oh, there's the station. There's the station, and then... I have Palpats, quite a few of them, so I think this is solid. 
and I'm gonna play this, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and Intrepid Sword, and we're in a pretty good spot. We are in a pretty good spot. Eh, Sputix, sí, mucha gente me, me ayudó. Al final creo que voy a, voy a terminar bajando arena en algún punto cuando tenga tiempo, <ríe> que eso es lo que se ve más complicado, el tener tiempo. Y, y veré si puedo comenzar a jugar Magic Arena. Creo que no quiero invertir en cartas físicas, ya tengo una cantidad de estúpida de cartas de Pokémon física. Entonces no quiero hacerme de más cosas, pero eh, quizás si sí me ponga a jugar o aprender a jugar en el Arena. Eso me late un poco más. <ríe> Muchas gracias. Ok, so Fan Club. Fan Club. Alright. So Spit Poison. <ríe> Not super scared about that. <ríe> Harry Squall, sí, soy, soy mexicano. Definitivamente hablo español. Ok, so I like the wolf head here. I like the wolf head because that stops the ditto, which is fantastic, but I'm not gonna bench it until the very end of my turn. I'm gonna go ahead and evolve two. I'm gonna make two first off with the Faba. I don't see Faba coming into play here at all. Oh, does this stop mine as well? Oh, both mine. It also stops my prison star. Okay, I'm gonna send the cave one first, I guess. Get the little bomb, get back search. I have foul pad, so it's fine. Uh, so maybe I don't want to stop the ditto, in fact. Just my bone star is so slow. <laughs> but should I even be worried about the mill? Possibly not. Possibly not. Yeah, I guess, I mean, what's the worst that happens if he has... Well, I guess, okay, if he has Weavile, I can just sacrifice the Wolf at some point, right? If he doesn't have Weavile, then he's in a lot of trouble, actually. Because he can't transfer the energy. I guess Crushing Hammers are not very useful against a deck that recovers energy forever. I really need my opponent to... Um, to top deck like a professor's research or something. We need him to mill his deck as well. There's a Cynthiam. Okay, there's the Macargo. So basically, what am I even trying to do here? Nope, two, two tails. I think I'm gonna make two the Quick Bolts. I don't think I'm gonna need Quick Bolts too much. I don't know, I feel like this deck. You win if you don't know how to... I mean, you you win if they don't know how to play against it, but... I don't know, it's just... It's not looking great here. Like, what am I even trying to do here? What am I even trying to do? Okay, I'm gonna pull pad these two. Right? And then... I'm gonna go ahead and nerve balloon the blob. I'm gonna intrepid sword. Alright. Hello, Jace fan. I am doing well, thank you. How about you? <clears throat> um, why no bling my cargo? I, I don't know. I'm giving a try to the regular GX cards. I am blinging everything, but I'm just doing the regular GX cards. But I do like the full arts a little bit more for sure. <coughs> Ooh, lies under laps. That's definitely annoying. That is most certainly very annoying. Cause like I was, I mean, I don't mind. Like with the Oranguru, I can put back the two dolls and the Palpat, and then just go crazy with the Belalba. That's what I need to do. Ooh, Whirlpool Suction. 
Uh, sure, you can have my wall. I'm at the point where if you have Weavile, it doesn't really matter. It's not very easy for him to continue to find Tion every single turn, right? But that's what you would hope, at least. <laughs> You're welcome, Chase fan. Just giving something different that try, you know? Uh, Carvana, I have no idea what Torpedo does. Triple Tails, that's the name of today's game. Okay, so I'm Great Bowling first, just to make sure that... Um, <clears throat> Just to make sure that I max out my chances of double the level back here. Oh, I, you know what? I should have grabbed the Ditto right there. Because if I discard the Ditto, <laughs> I'm gonna be in trouble. I don't think I need the Mew. Oh, the music is pretty loud. Thank you for letting me know. Please, please always let me know if your music is too loud. Is that better? Is that better? I hope it is. Okay, so... Thank you so much for the follow, Shadow Spawn. Alright. Crushing Hammer, four tails. Four out of four tails. Four out of four tails. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and do this then. Oh, I'm not a big fan though because of the possibility to lose the Ditto. Okay, I didn't lose the Ditto, that's good news. I did lose the Lelba, however. Um, okay, so this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and Palpad. <clears throat> and... Yeah, I'll establish this, and I will Intrepid Sword. Okay, there's the Ditto, so the Ditto is now safe. That's good news. The Ditto is now safe. So we're gonna do Charging Up. I, I think Sharpedo just gets more energy into play, right? Oh, if he has Mega Sable Itar and Itar, then I'm in trouble. And Rafa, thanks so much for the M&Ms, very kind of you, I didn't notice. Thank you, thank you so much. Oh, the music? Gets louder when I gets lower when I talk, huh? That's a setting I didn't think I had. Okay, that should be gone. Oh, there's the Fion again. Come on. Um, sure, you can have my Mancino. Okay, it should it should stop happening now. And thank you so much for letting me know. And apologies if <clears throat> the beginning of the video doesn't sound particularly great. Okay, so there we go. How many fan clubs? Three fan clubs. Wow, that's crazy. Um, all right, so what am I discarding here? I think a fire is fine. What if he just gets Fiona a lot? Then I'm gonna be in trouble, right? At some point, uh, like if I bench double Lily's poker all this turn, then it's fine, right? If I bench Lily's poker all, double Lily's poker all, then it's fine. Um. <clears throat> okay, so I'm not gonna double below by this turn, I think. Okay, so this forces him to attack at all. And then next turn, <clears throat> I go... Promoter Ranguru, put back two dolls and two palpads, right? Or maybe even three palpads. We'll see, we'll see. Like, I'm improvising. This is the first game I'm playing with the deck. <clears throat> Thank you, thank you, thank you for letting me know, Swaggerin. Thank you, thank you, thank you for letting me know. Okay, so the stamp, not the biggest of deals. Not the biggest of deals, honestly. Um, I do want to... Um, am I giving codes today? Yeah, I can definitely give out codes, actually. 
I will give out codes. Yeah, I don't have any sword and shield codes to give away, but I will give out codes, okay? Every time I win a game, I will give out a code. Um, okay, so I'm gonna put up the rank room. And then I'm gonna... I'm actually gonna play this, I guess. I'm gonna grab the ditto. And then I have the ordinary rods, so I don't mind losing the fire. And... Huh. Hmm. I mean, with the ordinary rod, I'm gonna get back two Pokemon, right? So I can just put back the Macargo. Okay. So this is... I don't know what the last card in my deck is. I don't think it matters too much. I'm gonna search. Yeah, to tackle. That's fine. And then to this... Okay, it didn't hit the Fion because it's at the bottom, but that's okay. And then, I'm gonna go ahead and resource management. And I'm gonna put back three pal pads, I think. Yeah, let's go triple pal pad. That's essentially like using resource management for six cards. That is essentially what I just did. That is essentially what I just did. Okay. So I'm setting up the giveaway, okay? Right, so that person, and then I need one make do, right? And then I have triple pal pad, so I can go like this, and then what do I discard here? The Belelba? I'm like, I'm improvising this. I'm just hoping this will work out. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I'll search and then Belelbam. And then Belelbam. Okay, 14 cards. And then I go Palpad. On these two. And then I go help out again. On these, I guess. Huh. And then I bench Orangru, attach an energy, and I think I use Intrepid Sword, right? Yeah. I draw three, and I can... Yeah, because then I have resource management. Yeah, I should be fine. Oh no! <laughs> second reset stamp. Uh, second reset stamp. Alright, well, I was not expecting that. Right? I was not expecting that. Something to keep in mind, of course. Um, like I said, this is literally the first game that I have played with this deck, so so yeah, gotta <laughs> gotta keep that in mind. My opponent already played one, and I also didn't mill the other one, so that was definitely good for him, right? Definitely good for him. All right, so. Right. All right, all right. Um, I am actually not having luck with. Oh, maybe it's yeah, it's this button. Okay. So my opponent choosing to go first. 
I will never ever understand. Okay, so the giveaway is set up. So if I win this game, I will give out a code, okay? Just like I've been doing the previous times with the same system. Okay, decent starts ish. Eh, hola, Cristian. Muchas gracias por estar aquí. <coughs> At some point, I think you wanted to use Rod to get back some cards to trade away. Yeah, yeah, I, I completely forgot about Stamp. I completely forgot that I could lose to Stamp. If I just bench the Oranger and I don't play the Recycle Energy, then I'm fine, right? If I had just been a little patient with the Recycle Energy, I would have been fine. So that was my... That was my mistake. Yeah, it's on me, like, literally the first game I've ever, ever played. The first game I've ever played. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Have I tried out seeking spoon cells? No, I actually don't even know what seeking does. <laughs> I honestly don't know what seeking does. <clears throat> I actually am not happy that my phone starts at 10A because then. Um, he could have dog and then gotten rid of resources, and that's always good. Um, all right, so double normal rod here. I will go ahead and grab dolls in the case, and I really need a basic off of this, right? So, okay, I feel like I'm gonna evolution incense the Macargo. And then, yeah, I honestly don't know what seeking does, but so if, if you tell me, then I'll be happy. I'll be happy to tell you whether I think it's good or not. Or, like, I definitely haven't tried it, right? I guess that's... That's what we know so far. Um... Okay, so I'm thinking... Just Pokecom. This in Chino. Form in Chino. And then... <sighs> hmm... And then just, like, I'm gonna give up on the Mancino. I don't think that's the end of the world. Not ideal, of course, but I don't think it's terrible losing one Mancino. And then I'll do this, and then I'll go ahead and Intrepid Sword. There we go. One energy, flip three coins, discard energy for each head. Oh, nice. Is it, like, from the active or anywhere? If it's anywhere, then that's insane. <laughs> if it's anywhere, then that is actually insane. Okay, uh, no, I mean, I generally have not seen that. If you have a list for that, I would love to see it. I have definitely not seen that. Um, okay, so it's a water and it's on the active. Okay, then that feels a little less impressive, I guess. Okay, so since the gate away the energy, it's fine because I have these guys. Oh, uh, I'll definitely bench that. Then I have two crushing hammers. I have yet to flip a single head with these in two games. Um, yeah, I'll get rid of the energy here, and then I mean, if I lose the station, I'm probably just gonna lose the game regardless. So I don't think I want to give up on an Armichino or the Ditto. I have a Japanese winning list. Yeah, if you send it over to me on Facebook, then I would love to take a look at it and give it a try. Yeah, eventually I would definitely give it a try. Okay. There's a professor's research. And no cocoa. So that's good. 
Um, energy switch plus Thunder Mountain does get my opponent an attack off, but seems very likely, right? And Ruben Rapa, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Very kind of you. No MMs this time, right? <laughs> Only bits. Thank you so much. Ooh, there's the energy switch. Please don't. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Please just. Did he play on Electro Power? No. Just a full bit. Okay, okay. That's that's good. <laughs> Thank you so much, Ruben. Yeah, we even have a Seeking emote because we have history with Seeking, right? We have history with Seeking, so. <laughs> Alright. So I'm a big fan. I'm a big Seeking fan. Okay. If I don't get Mew here, I could be in trouble. Uh, Mew, the bench protection one. Um, Fawa doesn't really matter. Well, does it? I think the the wolf it doesn't really matter. <laughs> thank you so much for the hundred M and M's, Ruben, and thank you, Spoon Sauce. Thank you. Um, okay. I didn't. <laughs> thank you so much. Um, okay. So I feel like I Fawa. The stadium because maybe they, he doesn't have an energy. Oh my gosh! Oops. <laughs> what? <clears throat> I forgot about that. Okay, so then I should have targeted the escape board. That's my bad. That is my bad. Um. All right. <clears throat> so I might just end up losing this station, anyways. Silly Faba. <clears throat> silly silly Faba. Like I'm not out of this yet, but it's it's not I'm not in a great situation, that's for sure. Primate wisdom switch. I mean yeah, Jirachi can find Volkner, which finds energy. Oh, there's a professor's research. There's the energy even. So yeah, if no if I didn't have that. Reset stamp from 8 to 6, not the biggest of deals. <clears throat> Native Ryan, hello, thanks so much for being here. How are you doing? There's the Mew. Ooh. And double custom catcher as well. Tag bolts. Yeah. <laughs> to say we are in trouble would be an understatement. 16 cards left though. So maybe we're not out of this yet. Maybe we are not out of this yet. Okay. I need two mills, right? Oh, come on. Jeez. Um, all right, so I don't care about the Mew anymore. That's the card I will end up discarding here. Get back to Fava, which is not great either. Um, let's go ahead and evolve. Go ahead and get rid of the Fava. I feel like maybe I have a chance. If I have, if I find enough dolls, then maybe I have a chance. I just need to not bench another attack team or GX worthy price. That's what I meant. Uh, okay, okay. So this isn't bad. I think I still have a chance. I think I still have a chance at some point. Are all the GXs getting rotated this August Romarin? I don't think they will. Um, I think we're gonna have like team up onwards. I don't think they will get rid of the full block of, <coughs> of GXs. Um, I'm feeling pretty good, Native Ryan. Thank you. I still have a slight cough, which is annoying, but that's all. And something bit me in the morning, in the, like walking my dog. <laughs> something bit me in. in on my leg, which is annoying, um, but not the end of the world, that's for sure. Um, I don't foresee myself needing Palpat, and I have other Palpats. I also don't think I'll be needing Balloon, but I feel like the Pal. Well, if I was gonna discard the Palpat, it was better to discard the Villalba instead, then, which is what I'll do now. Um, no Lieutenant Surge. I needed Lieutenant Search. That's what I needed right now. 
That is 100% what I needed. Okay, those are three good cards to get rid of, to have gotten rid of. Um, it's just, I don't want to bench the Seijin. Oh, there's three custom creatures. Never mind. I can't bench the Seijin. I totally can bench the Seijin. Because it's not threatened anymore. There is a possibility of Great Catcher, but there's no possibility of. Um... Okay, so I might just win next turn. If I find a Bolel Buy, I win next turn. Actually. If I find a Bolel Buy, I win next turn. Yeah. Alright. No Absol, no, no Risk. Luis, thank you so much for subscribing once again. Thank you so, so much. So I'm palpating. Oh, I, there's no way I missed a Belelba. So now I just went. I can't, I literally can't miss Belelba. <laughs> I literally cannot miss Belelba. Alright, so we discard three. <clears throat> we discard another three. And then we go Mew. Attach, retreat, and burning magma GX, and we win. There we go. There we go. Thank you so much for subscribing, Luis. Just in time to see us win this match, and that's basically what you want to do. All right, that is basically what you want to do. All right, so we're not gonna change the screens, but I will start the giveaway. So um, the keyword is mill. Okay, you need to type mail in the chat, okay, just as the chat says, and you will be able to win this code, okay? The, ran the winner will be selected randomly. So all you need to do is type in mail, <coughs> no uppercase, uh, no, no exclamation mark, just type in mail like this, yeah, just type in mail. Just type in mail. No, no exclamation mark, guys. No exclamation mark, no exclamation mark. <laughs> no exclamation mark, no capital M. Just mail, okay? Just mail, there you go. Yeah, just type mail, that's all you need to do. <laughs> that's all you need to do. Um, it's possible that TPCI will rotate to Zorn Shield, that's, I mean, there is a possibility, but It'll probably be team up onwards, I would imagine. I don't think they'll get rid of I don't think te uh, like tag teams will only have one season in them. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so just type mail, no capital M, remember, no capital M, and you'll be entered to win this Cosmic Eclipse code card, all right? All right, so if you already typed it once, you don't need to type it again. <coughs> I'll give it a couple of seconds and five no capital m spoon sauce remember no capital m no capital m and ruben thank you so much for the 200 m m's very very kind of you thank you so much for the support all right so the winner is kfon Okay, the winner is Kfun. I will send you your code in just a second. We will be moving on to our next deck, which will be Lucky Blast. Don't go anywhere, I will be right back in just a second. 